How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I'm going to be going over how to complete the third inning conquest uh, really fast in its entirety. Uh, that will give you 30 program stars towards these third inning bosses. We are looking at 394 overall cards, a one gold glove Shane Victorino, one impact veteran Chipper Jones, and one prime version of Brian Roberts. These cards are all really good let me go ahead and show you all their attributes before we really get into this video so these cards are all really good i mean this victorino is a gold glove card you'll have diamond fielding in center field this card was shown off uh, before the game was released he was shown off as a defensive player making a diving play he also has some pretty good hitting stats i mean uh, 91 106 against both sides in contact 56 and 50 with good vision great speed this chipper jones though i think is definitely going to be the selection i'm going with 88 and 88 versus right 105 and 114 versus lefties with 80 vision 125 discipline for those check swings and drawing walks uh, 91 clutch attribute 67 fielding he has a secondary at shortstop with 64 speed so that's pretty good i don't think i'll ever use him at short but you never know he might be worth a try with bronze fielding over there brian roberts is the second baseman switch hitting uh, with no secondary positions he'll have gold fielding the gold fielding badge at second base with 88 reaction which is pretty high a lot higher than a lot of other cards we see 92 speed as well as great hitting stats kind of reminds me of uh, videl brujan in a way uh, this third inning program or this third inning conquest is going to be really easy in the sense that there are no uh turn-based missions there are no turn-based missions as you can see here conquer 24 territories steal 3 million fans capture two strongholds capture all the strongholds once you complete this you will be able to or i guess once you finish each and every stronghold off you will be able to complete the rest of the map uh, take over all the territories and complete this really quickly there are no turn-based missions in this one and what i mean by that is taking a specific stronghold or a specific team's depicted icon space that's located on the map within a specific amount of turns if you notice to the right bottom right it says this is turn one uh, you just need to try and take over as many empty hexagons as possible that will allow you more reinforcements for the next turn there is a mission to steal three million fans which i will be doing on all-star difficulty against the rangers i wanted to go into the game and show you my created player stats once the equipment has been applied i recently picked up all diamond equipment except for the catcher's gear i have all diamond equipment in each and every category so that is a maxed out gold created player and i'm looking to get the diamond at shortstop as well but for my for conquest the the tips on how to complete it quickly are to score a couple runs try and get at least one run you can get yourself out by bunting you can um just put the ball in play as quickly as possible and run around the bases until they tag you out even if you get a base hit that is another way to quickly get it done uh, you really want to use your best players because it does not affect stats for online play i mean the uh, computer based stats that you accumulate whether you hit you know uh, 100 with a certain player on your team against the computer that will not affect your diamond dynasty online stats so that's really cool as well so i can use everybody without affecting their losses if i'm quitting out against the computer checking out my creative players attributes anyway i wanted to uh, focus on getting some insurance runs in the third inning of this game because i was only up by one i don't want the computer to walk it off on me especially on all-star uh, if you're playing this game on a different difficulty you can certainly play three games on rookie for one million fans in the steel fans phase you can do that three times you don't necessarily have to do it all in one game against uh, all-star or on the difficulty of all-star if that makes sense you can kind of split it up if you don't want to steal fans right away you don't have to you can wait until you're completely finished with the conquest and restart and then only steal fans you can do conquest a variety of ways but i wanted to focus on how to complete it as quickly as possible i am not going to be completing the entire map in this video as it just came out about 40 minutes ago this will take you about 11 three inning games if you notice there are 10 total uh, strongholds or 10 total games that you have to play i'm going to simulate all these other spaces on the map i don't want to play these games unless they are 
for the stronghold. If you notice, this one will be on veteran. We have a 7 million fan distribution against a 4 million fan. It would have been on all-star if I didn't take 3 million fans from the Rangers. But this is a stronghold game. If it wasn't, I would be simulating it and just trying to get to the stronghold with a good ratio in order to play the computer on all-star veteran. I don't really want to play the, the computer on any harder difficulty than that. I, fi I mainly focus on playing each and every uh, stronghold on veteran once I have completed the steel fans, once I've gotten past like the first turn. So if you notice each and every time you move towards the attack phase, you do skip the turn. So that's kind of how that works and that's how the turns advance. But also I want you to keep in mind if you press start, you can go to the rules tab and check out each and every phase of conquest. And I'm going to go ahead and do that right now actually. So Right now, if I wanted to skip my attack phase or skip that steel fans phase, I would just skip it, go to reinforce, and build up my uh, my hexagons, my territories are what they're called. But if you're looking for a specific question or a specific answer to a question, you might find it here in these rules by pressing the options button, any mode, any turn, or, or uh, any phase in conquest. So this might help you. Um, the conquest goals are there if you press square. But for the most part, you'll be able to complete it all if you follow this type of method. And I'll show you all what I mean by that. So now that we've kind of gotten off to a decent start, we have one other stronghold. I'm going to go a little bit slower. So we skipped the steel fans phase. We already got that mission out of the way. I'm going to reinforce a spot down here on the bottom so I can get towards the giant stronghold. But I'm not going to actually play the giant stronghold because by the time I get there, I'm going to probably have a distribution or a ratio set up to where I'm going to play them on a harder difficulty. I'm not looking to do that. I'm not looking to play them on Hall of Fame, 2 million fans versus 7. So I'm going to skip all of the phases, reinforce again. If you notice, I'm starting to build up my reinforcements. And I put one on the stronghold that I already have. Sometimes the computer will try and attack you. If they have two or three fans, they'll try and attack that stronghold and get it right back. So I'm looking to avoid that. If you notice, I reinforced down there in the bottom. I had the matchup on All-Star, and I don't even really want to play the computer on All-Star. I already did that one time. I'm looking to get these Conquest games finished as quickly as possible. So what I'm going to do is reinforce on a different space that will allow me to take more blank hexagons that will give me more reinforcements. I think it's about every three blank hexagons or every three territories that you take over, you are able to get one more reinforcement. So we should have at least one more. I had six the previous time. Now I have seven. So we'll go ahead and add those down there to the bottom one that already has seven. Now I'm going to skip to the attack phase, attack the giant stronghold on veteran now rather than all-star. If you do this for each and every one of the strongholds, you will be able to complete them in a row. Uh, moving your fans around, of course, taking each and every territory along the way. You'll be able to unlock packs, stubs. There's a variety of rewards in this as well as 30 program stars. So as you see, I've only done this. I've played two games. I went in for about 20 minutes or so, and I started to attempt some of this conquest. I will finish this off. It'll probably take me another hour and a half or so to play the remaining nine games or remaining games for those strongholds. But I have done this a variety of times. I've made a variety of conquest videos. So make sure to type in college lefty conquest tips and those videos will also pop up. I'll also try and link some of those videos down in the comments section down below. So make sure to click on those videos. This is another example. I continued on with that same exact method for a different conquest and I was able to complete it. Here's a screenshot of the map entirely conquered except for one space and once you complete all of the spaces it will restart you automatically so i had to kind of take the screenshot that way if you take a look at the third inning program uh, underneath collection rewards we do see a breakout series player collection for collecting 10 breakout players you can unlock 20 program stars for the third inning program this is new this is something that they haven't done yet so i already had 10 breakout players collected and actually a couple more all of those cards are non-sellable already so i'll lock those in and we'll have a couple packs in this video i also recently unlocked a bunch of future stars cards i completed the houston astros team affinity to uh, stage two all the way complete 
So we will have a ball in as a habit pack. We'll have a couple team affinity packs in this video as well. I'll go ahead and include that right here. If you notice, I'm a level 84 gold, and now I went back in time a little bit uh, before the content came out. I opened these packs. I wanted to include them here at the end of the video, but to also let me know if you have any questions about Conquest in the comment section down below. I'm trying to get this video out to help people. Normally, uh, if I complete Conquest and then make a video on it, and show you all completing the entire thing a lot of other people have already completed it so i wanted to kind of get this video out within you know the first hour that this content has been released to try to help people get started and once you kind of get to where i'm at right now even the first couple of games that you win the first couple of strongholds you take over get that steel fans mission out of the way then all you have to do is just continue on keep taking over all the territories keep reinforcing Keep simulating until you get to a team logo, which is a stronghold game. Play that game, beat the computer, three innings as quickly as you can, score a couple runs, bunt, uh, steal, get yourself out, do whatever you can to speed up the game a little bit once you have those insurance runs. And then, of course, uh, you'll complete it and get 30 program stars. Thank you all for watching this video. That's how to complete the third inning conquest quickly. It's pretty straightforward. No turn-based missions in this one. Hopefully you enjoyed. Peace out.